that's me with the camera. When I was making Hooligan Sparrow, I really felt the power of the camera. When I didn't have a camera, I felt vulnerable. In reality, the presence of the camera actually made it more dangerous. <laughs> The camera gave me courage and justification to approach a stranger and ask some of the most intimate questions. I was born in a small village in China. It was in the rural area and it's very small that everybody's last name is the same, Wang. I think the biggest impact of my childhood was my father. He was the first person who introduced the storytelling to me and who always read books with me. He passed away when I was 12. That was traumatic, I think, for me as a child. Spending a lot of time in the hospital with him made me think about life and death. That was a big part of me eventually becoming a filmmaker and the kind of stories that I was drawn to about people like my father, people that I saw in the hospital, people like myself. I wanted to become a reporter, I wanted to write stories, but I didn't want to study journalism in China because in China, journalists are told that you are the spokesperson of the government and they decide what kind of stories you can report and how you can report it. So I applied to several schools in the US and I was lucky that I got a scholarship and I came in 2011. It was then that I encountered documentary. The fact that I include myself and tell the story from a first-person point of view was an accident at the beginning. It gradually became clear to me that the films are never going to be objective. They are always subjective. I'm hoping my films would allow people to see at least a window into the different people's minds. My father died when he was 33, and he wanted to go see the world. I always felt I need to use every minute as if it's two minutes, because I felt like my father must be hoping that I would achieve something that he wasn't able to. So each time I made a film, I felt like I lived a lifetime. I lived with the homeless person, I lived with the Chinese activist. So I have this experience of living multiple lifetimes. The choice of becoming a documentary filmmaker is my work, but it is also my life.